five-year-old boxer. She got it from the prior owner because they were going to put it to sleep. His name is Busco. He was in the second story and fell out of a window. I'm Bubbers. He's going to be at least 65, 70 pounds. Hit it with hydro. That'll sedate him and take the pain away. Ask Petra to calculate a dose. Is this the guy I was supposed to look at? Yeah. yeah take a look at him. <laughs> he wasn't mine until last night. They relinquished him to me so that I could get treatment. He fell out of a window, and my daughter heard the screaming. He was in a pool of blood. This bone was sticking out. They were going to have him put down, and so we took him. I know, I know. You okay, know. You okay, sweetheart. It's okay, baby. It's okay, sweetheart. Okay, so we're going to wheel him all um, straight back into surgery. Oh, you guys can stay in the front. Petro here will Dr. Petro make sure that he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, OK, thank you. The problem is, is we don't know what other leg's broken. I think this one might be OK. Is this one OK? Hi. I think this one's fine. So you have Ooh, one leg. Yeah, yeah. Busco is in very serious condition. He's breathing very heavy, which is most likely due to pain. So we need to get some x-rays and see what's going on. I can't leave that dog like that. And I can't have him be put down because he's young and he needs somebody. That's something that we, you know, really can't afford right now, but we will figure a way out for him. It doesn't matter what we have to sell, we will make sure that this dog is taken care of and he'll be in a happy home. You know, he will live the rest of his life with us. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put him on fluids and IV antibiotics and we're gonna take blood work and see how he does. We will most likely not do anything with the legs today. We'll just try to stabilize him first. And then maybe tomorrow, we'll start extraining the legs and messing with the legs. But I will speak to you tonight either way, just to let you know how he's doing, what we've done, and what's going on. OK. OK. All right, thank you so very, very much. Not a problem. Not a problem. Going to x-ray. 24 hours after his accident, Busco is stable enough for surgery. The two ideal case scenario I'm hoping for is the first one would be a fracture where this part is shattered into pieces, but I can still place the external fixator over here. If that doesn't happen, the other ideal case scenario would be if Busco has maybe two or three larger fragments that we can keep together and put the external fixator in. That one would totally work as well. I don't know what I'm gonna find. I'll know when I get there, but this is what I'm hoping for. If it doesn't work, we can always amputate it, but I don't normally start with amputations unless it's something that's beyond repair. I think this leg has a chance. It is a chunk of bone. Can somebody give me a bowl, please? I am pulling out chunks of fractured bone, which I'm not happy with. This must have been a pretty bad fall. There's a lot of pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces that I got so far. It's going to be a slow healer. Yeah, so far it's not going too good. It's totally shattered in pieces. The problem is, once you start getting into putting pieces together, the leg might just not heal because there is way too much soft tissue damage. So putting one puzzle back together when you're drunk. More gloving in? Yes. About nine, ten pieces. So there's a piece missing going all the way back there. Oh, that's cracked all the way up. Holy mm -hmm. That's all the way up. This is Dr. Petra calling about Busco. Unfortunately, I don't think that the left hind leg is fixable. It's shattered in more than 10 pieces. I do think that amputation is gonna be a better option for him. Okay, okay, thank you. 
She took it very well, actually. She understands that it's the best thing to do for the dog, and she fully trusts our advice. So I'm going to go ahead and amputate. Mm -hmm. Can you try to flip it like that? So, yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, he looks like a Frankenstein. Next is a splint for this guy. Then we're done. Hopefully, Busco's new family, they can get him calmer, because he's not going to be able to afford too many leaps out the window. The splint is done. I'm going to stop his fluids and get him nice and toasty warmed up in his cage. I'm gonna leave him here, let him recover. He's starting to come around a little bit. The leg that was just completely shattered, I mean, that had to hurt. It absolutely had to hurt, so he will not have the pain of that leg. I think that is gonna feel a lot better when he wakes up. Yeah. Let me give him a little kiss kiss on his big foothead. Here to pick up Busco. Go ahead and follow me on back. All right, thanks. Three days ago, Busco broke three legs when he fell out of a window. His owners wanted him put down, but Good Samaritan stepped in and adopted him. When we left here, we didn't know how we were going to make that money, but we decided we would postpone our wedding to save him. Where are we going? If we went on with the wedding, we would have both been standing up there thinking about that dog and regretting our decision. I'm just getting really anxious. I just really want to see him. Who's, who's here? Who's going? Oh, big guy. Oh, James, hi. Hi, buddy. We missed he you. He gives the best kisses. Yes, he does. It's been very emotional. We posted that we needed help and donations to pay for all, everything that they did for us, and we raised enough to save Busco. He just, he makes you want to love on him. Good boy. Do you see why I couldn't walk away? Yes. We really wanted his leg saved, but he's gonna have a, a great home and be spoiled, so I think it'll be great. Now you're awake. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sneaky fella. Wait, wait, time out. I was just totally snoozing. Totally snoozing. I don't know how I'm gonna finish off my week without you here. <laughs>